Ah. Oh, there goes the wind. Yep. Oof. Let me show you what happened to oh, this lens. No. No. <laughs> it is fall in Colorado. Okay, mm -hmm. down in the lower elevations where we live, which is still elevation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so if you watched our Rocky video, you know we enjoyed the fall colors there a couple of weeks ago. And now we finally have full fall colors here in the kind of northern Colorado area. Mm hmm Yep. We'll just keep following them down to lower elevations. <laughs> this is about as low as we're going to go, though. Yeah. There's, Mile that's... high is kind of where we're at. Yeah. It's all prairie east of here. So. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a gorgeous sunset. We're at a park that we went to a year ago in the summer, and Steve made some amazing panorama. Last night, we were going to come out, but uh, the clouds just really, really rolled in, and the whole horizon would have been socked in. Oh, sorry. You're on, like, a little handle I'm trying to hold so you're going woo that's fun but it's a really gorgeous night like obviously mm -hmm. it's really warm look at us we're just like in t-shirts basically in mid-october mid -October. Yeah. gosh aren't we spoiled uh, <laughs> I assumed you were going to change lenses for the sunset you're going to do the big lens I uh, last time I was here I did the big lens oh with a ginormous pano yeah seven 14 panels 14 panel right so so but we have the 70 to 200 in case you change your mind yep Right. I'll, I'll play around with others because, as you can see, we've got fall colors all over the place. Yeah, here, so. let's, I'm going to pivot. Whoa. I don't know. Uh, the sun's probably in your eyeballs right now. But, yes. Oh, <laughs> definitely in mine. So, <laughs> we got like another, I don't know, hour till sunset. Yep. And the lake is just really still. It's yeah. almost glass still. Yes, yeah, look at this. So, uh, get, I've already taken some shots getting reflections in the lake. Yeah. So, oh, you have? Yeah, on the reeds over in the lake over there. Oh, nice. So we'll see how those turn out. Uh, I don't think most people think of the 200 to 600 as a landscape lens. Generally, no. Oh my gosh. So I have to say the pano that we, whoo, that we created last year, Steve started the pano on his computer and then he had to send it to me in pieces <laughs> because my computer is a couple years newer and it could process it. His yeah. couldn't do it. Yeah. Because that's the A7R4 with how many pickles? 62, 61. 61 pickles. Ah, okay. This sounds really in my eyeballs now. Uh, so it's a huge, huge file. Yep. The nice thing about using a big lens for, for uh, panoramas and stitching together panels is um, the details that you get. You can uh, get amazing detail mm. uh, that you won't get without much larger sensors. Well, you think about it, 14 panels, 60 megapixels per panel. Oh God. Yeah. That's a, that's a, <laughs> that's lot. a lot of megapixels. That's a lot. So uh, 60, it's like 800. 40 megapixels, maybe. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, lots of detail in there. Well, okay. we're going to enjoy this sunset with y'all. How about that? Oh, there goes the wind. Yep. Okay. How's it looking, Steve? Well, there's, there's some thin clouds yeah. on the horizon and the sun is starting to set into them so we're losing the ideal sunlight that we would expect at sunset darn it so what i'm thinking is uh i'll just wait till it gets actually starts setting behind the mountains uh get some photos with the sun setting and some sun rays on it and then just after sunset take a panel and see what happens with that Ooh. it'll be a little it, it, it'll probably only be a seven panel panel um one, the wind has come up, so I don't get some nice reflections in the lake anymore. Mm -hmm. And there's no clouds above the horizon. They're, all the clouds are right on the horizon. So okay. we'll see how that goes. So, okay. so I, don't, I don't need to move as much up and down to get the shot. Okay. So we'll see. So he's got, he's got the A7R4 set up with the 200 to 600 on the gimbal head. 
all set up nice and you can see way over there the sun is about to set but it's going into the clouds which is a bummer sometimes right in that in that little space there you can see the mountains but uh not so much tonight oh no the whole thing just fell over is it okay we got a sudden gust of wind i think it fell right on the gimbal head right here what do you think well we'll see here So, is it broken? Yep, I don't know. So unfortunately, for the second time this year, uh, Steve broke his lens. <laughs> uh, a gust of wind just kind of came right up and it, the legs of the tripod weren't out far enough or something, right? Yep. And the whole thing crashed over. Oof. So <laughs> we have switched out to mine, my 200 to 600. I mean, they're both ours, but the one I had on my camera and he promises to stand right next to this. <laughs> With the... Let me show you the poor lens. Oh my gosh. So he's still gonna try to get this shot. Well, the mountains are kind of in the clouds, but it's still kind of cool. I don't know. Let me show you what happened to oh, this lens. This poor, poor lens. So here, I'll just turn this whole thing around. So this should have a screw in it and be nice and flat like the others. Can you see the divot there? I don't know if you can see that that... Oh, yeah. Okay. That is uh, pretty obvious right there. Oh, God. Oof. No! No! We know. We have Sony Pro Support, and we will send this in. And last time they had to fix it, it was about $700. <laughs> oh God. <sighs> that is, oof, there's a big old gap right here. Yikes. I have no idea where that screw even went. It's here in the grass somewhere. It got sheared off. It got just sheared off. Yeah. And uh, I don't think it's in the camera. The camera nope. itself is still working. Oh, that's a nice shot, honey. That's gorgeous. He's still going to get a really, really pretty shot out of the evening. Huh. Wow, sad panda. Is this a good one? Oh, we got the mountain range a little bit in there. Nice. I wish those clouds above it would light up a little bit more, huh? This is, well, they're starting to. Yeah, okay. We got a little bit of the color in the trees. We might be able to pull this out after all. Here comes a helicopter. That's what happened. The helicopter distracted us. We looked up there. <laughs> the wind picked up and the whole thing fell over. Right. There's the helicopter coming over the mountain range. It's kind of cool. I just kind of want to cry right now. How about yep. you, babe? Yeah. yeah, it's a little, little, little pain tonight. So. Uh. Ah. But. Yeah. I'm sad for you. Yeah. Gonna have to make some more bucks now. That's all there is to it. So yeah. it's gonna be a hefty repair. Yep. Ouch. Well, we had the second one. So you got your shot? Got the shot. You think you got, got it? Got some nice shots. Yeah. I think, I don't know how he ra rallied. I don't know how he rallied after that. <laughs> oh, and got, well, there was a little bit of color in the clouds above the mountain range over there. It was pretty. Yeah. Some nice fog in there. So uh, oh, yeah. it's, it could be an interesting shot. It's going gonna, it's gonna to look pretty nice, I think. We'll see what it's like. So did get a panel with some colors in the, in the mountain in it too. So we'll see. Yay, okay.
gonna take the okay. walk back to the car. Yeah. Ah, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Yes, please. We're getting close to a thousand um, subscribers at this point. Yeah, so. thanks guys, Yay. everyone. Yeah. Yes. So. Yay. Okay. All right, see you later. See. Bye. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> look, look in the little ones. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's go.